Hi, my name is Heiko Borgian. I'm doing a presentation on scapular winging. Scapular winging is a rare and potentially debilitating condition that can affect someone's ability to lift, pull, and push objects, as well as performing activities of daily living, such as brushing your hair, teeth, and carrying grocery bags. It also contributes to the loss of strength, limited flexion, and abduction of the arm. And it may be the reason you're experiencing pain in your shoulder or mid-back. Okay, before we get into the causes of scapular winging, let's quickly review the anatomy of the scapula. So there are about 17 muscles that attach the scapula to your shoulder blade. So imagine trying to get 17 people to agree on going to one restaurant. It's complete chaos. That's exactly what your scapular muscles do every time they decide to complete any of the six different scapular movements. If you look at the lower picture, you can see all the different vectors of force pulling the scapula in every direction. The sum of these forces essentially decide where your scapula ends up at rest and how you compensate or don't compensate when you move your shoulder. When there are these imbalances and loss of coordination, that's when problems such as shoulder impingement, scapular instability, scapular uh, winging, or scapular dyskinesia occur. There are many reasons why you might have scapular winging, but most cases are due to lesions or damages of the long thoracic nerve, which innervate the serratus anterior and trapezius muscles. These scapular muscles contribute to keeping the medial border of the scapula protracted against the posterior thoracic wall or the ribs and paralysis or weakness of any of these muscles results in the winging of the medial border of the scapula as it lifts off the thoracic wall. Another cause is scapular dyskinesis, which is a deviation in the normal position of the scapula during shoulder movement. It is also known as six scapula syndrome. Some of the symptoms are pain and tenderness around the scapula during overhead movement or carrying heavy objects, loss of strength and winging of the scapula. It is caused by muscle weakness and imbalances along with overuse such as sports with repetitive movements. The muscle imbalances cause the scapula to get stuck. Different combinations of muscle tightness around your scapula can lead to a less than optimal resting position depending on how you use your arm. Past habits, injuries all play a part in creating your unique muscle tightness combination and imbalances. Everyone's body is different, so on the next slide we'll go over the treatment options. As a PT8, I've had a patient with scapular winging, and we always suggest a conservative option before surgery is considered. In the first 6 to 24 months, they should do scapular stabilization, scapular strengthening, and shoulder girdle strengthening exercises, including rotator cuff strengthening and trapezius strengthening, along with stretching of the non-injured muscle. Range of motion exercises can be done in supine position to compress the scapula against the thorax to prevent winging. Corrective surgery is considered if no recovery and pain persists after the 24 months. Dynamic muscle transfer surgery can be done where they take a piece of tendon and muscle from the pectoralis major and attach it to the scapula with a graft. Decompression of nerve surgery is also very successful with 98% of patients reporting 
good or excellent outcomes. Thank you for watching my presentation on scapular winging.